We're at the Army Museum in conversation with Colonel Peter Buell, Canadian soldier. People ask me sometimes, what do you think about on the VE Day, on November the 11th? There are many things I think about, but I'll never forget. Well, there are two fellows I never forget. That's Dave Romans. He's a, he was a... Dave and I and another fellow were the three musketeers in Mus Malva Cove from about that age. When you're boys, yeah. Yeah, and then going on to Mus in Malva Cove, and he was a great softball pitcher. We could beat the seniors. We, could, we played off for the little team from Malva Cove, played off for the city championship. Dave, incidentally, that's Dave Romans on Romans Avenue, was named after him in Halifax. Oh, okay. Okay, that's Dave, even my buddy. I think about him. I can hardly tell the story about this fellow. That's Dave. This is Dave. This is Don Eisner. Don and I were promoted from the ranks together. We were in the same militia unit, and he's a wartime buddy, as opposed to Dave, who was a lifetime buddy. And he was a f real fine fellow. You couldn't find a nicer guy than Dave. Always singing. Nice fellow. N very, not very much a gentleman. And um, anyway, we got promoted and went to uh, Ari Park for our officer training and went, both went to Miss Beck, St. John. And we were young and full of vigor there. We went with a, a group of girls, we called them Sexy Sex. Uh, sexy Six. <laughs> anyway, Don married before he left for overseas. I saw Don the day he crossed the Rhine the day before I did. He was he was on the he was Ken Lone. He was on a loan from the Canadian Army to the British Army as an officer. And Don, I met him there before he crossed the Rhine, and uh, he got shot, killed. Don had married that beautiful girl here. Had her pregnant. Never saw his baby. I think that's sad. That's very sad.